Hi guys, it's Cindy here from Hooked on Crafts. And I don't know about you, but I have been having a ball painting rocks for the Kindness Rocks project that is going on in the town where I live. Today, I am going to be showing you how to paint the rocks that I found at the Dollar Tree. Here's what they look like. And these are the perfect size and shape for, for this project. The only problem is, is that they have like a wax coating on them that makes them very shiny because they're really decorative rocks. They're not really meant to be painted, but they are perfect for this project. So today I'm going to show you how to get that waxy coating off so that you can paint on these rocks. First, you're going to take some Dawn dish soap. I found this at the Dollar Tree too. Fill your bowl up with water and just pour some Dawn dish soap in there. And I'm going to let these set for a couple of days and soak. Once you've done that, you can take them out and just give them a good scrub with a scrub brush, um, any kind of really scrub brush, if you have a dish soap brush that you can use. And it is going to take all of this wax coating off of these rocks. And again, you can see here that I really don't spend a ton of time scrubbing on them you know just a few minutes for each rock and yeah it's a little bit of a pain but hey they're only a dollar and I got a lot of great rocks in this bag of rocks so to me it's worth the time and effort to do this you can see here in just a second I'm going to show you a rock that I had previously painted before I realized that uh, you had to get this coating off or your paint isn't going to stick and it's going to just come right off. And you don't want to waste all your time painting a rock just to have it come right off. Right there you can see the blue paint that's still on it. I had just scraped that other paint off with my fingernail before. And again, you're not going to spend much time. Just give them a good scrub front and back, rinse them off, get all the soap off of them and let them dry. Once you have done this, you are going to be able to tell the difference right away in which rocks have the coating and which rocks don't. You can see here the two in the front still have the wax coating on them. They're very shiny, very pretty. You could use them in flower vases or whatever. But for me, I wanted to paint on mine. And the ones in the back, I've already scrubbed. And they are ready to go to be painted on. I'm just going to show you how to paint a quick little rock if you too want to join in the fun. I use just regular craft acrylic paint. Any kind will do. You don't have to be fancy with it. I'm going to give this rock a good couple coats of green paint and then I'm going to put a little red top on it. I am making an olive guys and this guy is so cute when he's done and he's so simple even younger kids can do this. Uh, my daughter loves to help me paint. And so I'm just really putting that little pimento on the top of my olive. The turtle rock that you guys seen earlier is actually a video that I watched from another YouTuber. Her name is Art a la carte. And I will leave a link to her video in the description box below so that you too can learn how to paint the turtle if you want to. But this is just a quick little olive that I think is fun. I'm just dotting in some eyes and then I'm going to draw a mouth and again this craft paint is really thin so you shouldn't have any problems uh, getting it to uh, flow really well for your mouth and I just gave him a little smile and then I am going to take a sharpie marker and write the words I love you on the bottom I'm just giving the pimento another coat just to make the red really bright. And you'll see me here. I'm just touching him up and he's nothing fancy. He's just a cute little rock that goes quick. And again, it's perfect for little kids. They can help do this and then you can write on the rock if you want or you don't have to. I am writing it on with a Sharpie marker. Now guys, if you're using a Sharpie marker, just know you might want to give it a coat of Mod Podge before you spray it with um, a clear coat of varnish. Um, that way your writing won't run. And didn't he turn out so cute? If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you next time. Happy crafting.